what are we looking at here? So what, what I want to do is we just recently talked about the uh, chest and how to develop the chest. And all the time when, when you're on Instagram, you see all these people posting like all these videos with you know, crazy random exercises to do or taking machines and turn sideways chest press. Right. When most people, most of the average client, the thousands I've trained, at least 75% of those people can't even activate their it's chest. It's just about pro activation. Probably. And the reason why that is, and so Justin's sitting still right here, you'll see like the average person's posture. Yeah, they have protracted this, shoulder girl. Exactly. They're all rounded forward. All these yeah. muscles are tight. These ones are underactive or what we say like they're asleep. They're not being fired. They're yeah. not activated. And in order for you to work your chest out, you gotta take your shoulders in a retracted position. That opens up the shoulders. Yes. So And now he's got a better range of motion for So Justin, lay down real quick. I'm gonna I wanna do like a regular chest press. So most people you'll see, and I, I catch this in the gym all the time, where people actually put their feet up on the bench or they elevate their legs. Oh yeah, watch thinking, what happens to his back. Flat. Yeah. Now watch, put your feet down. Natural arch, this is what you want. Yeah, we're you looking for arch. this arch right here. And people I'll think that's, sure, that's a bad thing, but what that does is it helps him retract his shoulders. So now when he presses, his, his chest is going to activate instead of his shoulders flexing. And Justin gets good contraction right here. I give him a more protracted, there you go. really more really focused. chest. Yeah, show off the chi -chis. Ooh, good. yeah. Now this Look is something that's really tough for people to do because they can't, they're, they're thinking about pressing with their chest and their shoulders and their arms. They're not thinking about actually activating and retracting and squeezing the back. You know who's good at this? Power lifters. And power lifters, some of the bench, they're the best bench pressers in the world. Which will actually look They'll like go crazy. This. Yeah. They'll get, yeah. keep the glutes down though. Yeah, we don't want your- Yeah, they really down. exaggerate that, that movement. And what they're really doing is they're retracting the, the scapula and depressing it down so they can really use that leverage of the chest. So how do, so let's, let's show them, Adam, how to set this up so they can get in position better. Yeah, so sit trouble. all the way up, Justin, and show them before you get, get all the way down how you take your shoulders and get in that position before you lay all the way down. So he's gonna retract all the way, depress his shoulders down, and then he's gonna grab his weights, lay all the way back down, keeping himself in that retracted position before he even presses up. So that's the key to getting that form. Now, this is really difficult for a lot of people to do because their back is put to sleep. So a great way to warm up or sit up. So we come over here, Justin, come here. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna get your rows. But when we do these, go and grab them. When we do these, all we're focusing on is the connection. We're not trying to fatigue. You're not trying to do something really challenging. Difficult. You're just trying to work on that neurological connection back to these muscles that have fallen asleep. So do your row now. So he's gonna do a row. He's gonna focus on the scapular retraction. Squeeze back right there. Depress, and hold. And it's, he's gonna get like an isometric hold because like I said, we're not trying to fatigue the muscle. We're just trying to make that connection. And then it'll come out of it, come all the way in. Retract, squeeze, depress the shoulders. And we're just trying to get that connection back there. So then when we go to do our chest, his, his body will fire into mm -hmm. that position. Mm -hmm. And then boom. And you notice he's not shrugging. A lot of people shrug when they try to do a, 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 a row. And that's, that's, not, that's what you don't want. You want the shoulders to come down and back. Not and that's, up what, and back. Yeah, that's what we mean by the retraction and the de and depression. depression. Each time. And I'll normally take a client. I'll do this with a client for about three sets. 10 to 15 reps, a good three to five second hold. And all, and this is just their little warm up before we go into their chest. Watch how much better your chest fires after you do that. All right, let's do the, let's do the chest press. Grab them dumbbells. I don't know, you might've gotten too, too heavy of dumbbells there. <laughs> right. Shoulders back and we're getting good. Full range of motion with the pecs. Very good. That, my friends, is a chest press. You master that first, then you get crazy with all the other shit.